last year around March or April, since we were friends, we decided to create an intramural basketball team to compete against other friend groups in Hamilton College. I expect maybe we'll win one, um, but we have a forfeited win under our belt already, so we're not going to go winless, but hopefully we can actually earn a win and um, get like a decent seed in the playoffs and just, just play however we got to play and go from there. Jalen Robin, strengths, looks competent. Uh, his jump shot looks nice when he shoots it. Uh, cons, can't move, pretty slow. Um, Kevin Neary, uh, new to the game of basketball, uh, has Kyrie Irving shoes. He's self-proclaimed defensive specialist. He's not bad, I mean, but he's not great. Steven Davis, uh, he's Jewish, he's from Westchester, um, he's also white, and he knows Eva Rosenberg. He... <laughs> It's very relative for Steve because I mean, we've seen, everyone's seen his Ryan Nick basketball highlights. Inbound came to Frank Avia. <laughs> Steven Davis has had some trouble getting a handle on the ball. I mean, sometimes he looks very disgusting playing the game. He can't create his own shot, but I mean, he can shoot the ball kinda. I guess he's kind of a morale builder somewhat. He, he, he's, he's a good basketball player. Alex, um, he plays like a like a like a wild deer. He he just runs around as fast as he can. He doesn't understand the game of basketball. He like just sprints around the whole time. He can't catch. He can't really shoot. He's working on his layups, which is good. Um, he a lot of elbows there. He's given me a bloody nose when I was on his team. So that just shows you him. Uh, who else is there? Oh, and Dave E. <clears throat> Dave's Dave's improving. Dave's Dave's on an exponential increase. I mean, he doesn't step with the right feet when he shoots. Uh, when the camera's on, he tries to do a lot. But uh, you know, in game, he's a solid force for good. And uh, I like playing with Dave. Can't say that for everyone else on the team, but I like playing with Dave. <laughs> so my role on this team is basically just being the videographer and documenting our journey as we progress as basketball players and uh, to occasionally make the open jumper or layup. Will, uh, there's not much to be said about Will, he just he just plays and he's good all the time. Um, never an off day, never a bad moment, ne never messes up ever. Um, and yeah, he's the star player, nothing bad about him. Again, I always say it when I play in the IM games, and I'm, I'm trying to win, yeah, but that's second fiddle to the other players thinking that I'm good. Just like imagine if the whole, like, you know, baseball team thought I was a good basketball player. That's much better than having a jovial feeling of winning with my teammates, you know? <laughs> I play for the love of the game. I think that basketball is nothing without love. I think that the, the camaraderie that we bring to the team is just cataclysmic. But the team is essentially just an outgrowth of the friend group. Um, we eat together. We uh, go to the one bar in Clinton sometimes together. Um, some of us shower together. I want to score a lot of goals this season and points for the team. Um, team goal, obviously taking it to the ship. I'm gonna win it. We're the best team in I am, so I don't know what else to say. Um, you know, that's basically an aim for the sky. sky. Getting some good practice in before game tonight. Yes. I feel pretty good about tonight's game. Uh, biggest problem today, a uh, pimple formed on my forehead. It looks kind of silly, so... The other team might not find me as attractive or, you know, whatever. Jalen, how do you feel about our big game today? I'm ready to go to war. Alex? 
Okay. Again, really, if we just stick to the game plan, we're gonna be okay. Walk us through the game plan. I said it before and I'll say it again. Just give me the ball and then get the hell out of the way and try to rebound. And then you try to defend your hearts out and then, again, just revert back to the beginning of the plan and we'll be okay. Most, mm -hmm. most hated. I am most hated. Most, most hated. Jin, what are you laughing at? <laughs> Look like a damn egg. Feel locked in like a lion or tiger. Feeling good. Feeling real good. You got a new kid coming in. Um, expect him to perform uh, pretty well. A lot of hype around him. Star recruit, so. What is he, like a four star recruit, something like that? Um, I've been to zero practices, zero games. How do you feel? How do you think you're gonna fare tonight? Uh, at least 50. At least 50? At least 50. All right, all right, all right. How do you think you're gonna mesh with the chemistry of this team? How do I, how do I think I'm gonna mess it up? Yeah. Somehow, I'll find a way. Probably a lack of passing, but we'll see. Other kids were competent, they could play, and they had a lot of guys that were subbing in and out. They're probably more athletic than we were too. I thought we rebounded well. I thought we played decent defense. We just gotta work on making shots. Like we got so many open shots that weren't falling. We gotta be able to create a little more on offense and less turnovers. Just gotta hold on to the ball. You know, we didn't make open shots. And if you don't do that, you're not gonna win, but that's not really something you can flip a switch and change. We ended up losing by a, a, at least six, six, seven points, which is like, you know, that's a moral victory for us because they're more athletic than us. They were probably a better team overall, but you know, we just got to find that guy who wants to, uh, who wants to step up when they decide to throw two guys at me. I think we learned that, like, you know, if we're not going to score, we're not going to win. New addition, Jack, he played He played brilliantly, it was beautiful. We got a new recruit, Jack McKeon, he played very well, uh, big locker room guy, uh, clubhouse guy, whatever you want to call it, kept the, um, the team spirit up, um, was very impressed with his debut, and uh, looking forward to uh, seeing more from him. Um, tough loss, but it's, oh, we'll improve, we're going to keep improving. Hey Steven, how do you feel about the game as your first practice that you've ever shown up to? I feel 
feel good. I feel like I proved my worth on the team. I feel like I earned my keep. Okay, enough of that. Will, how did the practice go today? Uh, every time that I wanted to turn it on, I could score at ease. Um, Jalen shot it really well. Jalen, do you have anything to say? Uh, I thought the team chemistry of me, Steve, and Alex was there. Um, thought we played very well, shot the ball well, good ball movement. Things are looking good. I guess the goddamn corporate was here. <laughs> yeah, baby, yeah. Alex, I have a question. Yes. Why are you so fucking dumb? How do you feel about tonight's playoff game? Um, I feel like since we haven't won a game yet, we're gonna struggle a bit coming out the gate, but gotta turn it on. We gotta really uh, all play at our best to hang in there and not lose by 20. Through all the faults that Alex Morishige has, if he was here right now, no confidence lost in his head, we're going to win this basketball game. We have a chance of winning this basketball game. Look, as the self-nominated emotional leader of this team will win, we can't afford to have you saying, hey man, let's not airball it anymore. Come on now. Because I think that gets people down. And that's, and that's, that's an, another fact that we have to, not, not to call out you, though I just did, um, but we have to be more uh, supportive of one another. And I think the team morale is going to be a big thing, but in terms of hitting shots, it's easy to say we got to hit shots. You find that, no he, he, just expects, he expects a lot from you, his you find a, You know, here's the problem, and this is, this is a big deal. Stand if up. you want me to, to assume that you guys aren't going to score, I won't say a word. I just hold you guys to a standard that's high. And if you don't want that high standard, you want a low standard when you airball for me to clap my hands and say good attempt, I can do that for you. I really can. <laughs> However, that's just not what I want. And speaking of morale, you're saying I bring down the team morale. When we're walking in the gymnasium and Steven Davis in your ear is saying we have no chance, it's disgusting. I've never said we have no chance. We have a chance because it starts here. You have to have the goddamn heart of a lion. <laughs> they look good and they play varsity basketball. Like They just know what they're doing on the basketball court yeah. uh, more than a bunch of our guys do just because we have like they didn't grow up playing basketball so like that's going to be an issue and I think we're going to have to really really step up if we want if we want to compete uh you know it's not my first rodeo I'm pretty familiar with the Unreal playoffs I think you can get at least 30 points out of me today. 30 points I'll hold you to that yeah. Just run in and try to rebound it. Yeah, rebound it. <laughs> the dude who shoots it, 
which is more than I was expecting, to be honest, and I was, I was happy with it. When shots don't fall, shots don't fall. I think you can't say, like, X player played badly, we should have game planned for this. If you miss, you miss. Like, you know, if you're taking bad shots, it's something you can work on in practice and kind of, like, critique someone's decision making. But in game, if you, if you shoot a shot and it's off by, you know, three inches and it rims out, well, like, what are you gonna do? You can't really blame the guy for taking it in the first place. As a whole, our performance was that of a, a lion attacking its prey, but in this occasion, the, the prey uh, fought back. Biggest takeaways from the season, I mean, people, people improved, they did. I mean, Alex from last year, Light, light years better. Still not very good, light years better. Steve? No, no, that doesn't really apply to Steve. Uh, Steve didn't play well. Uh, Dave? Much better. Jalen? He, he had flashes. But you know, you can't, you can't fault a guy who's going out there with his body held together with duct tape. It's, it's tough. Uh, Kevin? He did, he also improved. And then Jack, he stepped into a role and played phenomenally. Uh, we had a nice late uh, free agent acquisition of Jack McKeon. He's done a lot for team camaraderie. And uh, I think, you know, if we can retain him in the off season uh, and, you know, develop our own players, we're, uh, we're gonna maybe win a game next year. As a team, you know, I think that we really came together as a unit and showed a lot of heart towards the end of the uh, end of the season, which was just great to see. That game in playoffs, I've, I mean, I was I was so damn proud of the boys. I think overall the season the season was on an upswing from what happened last year. Um, we were competitive in mostly every game we played against mostly better teams. I think our love for each other glues the team together. I really think, like, 
the, like the, the way that like Steven looks at me, like when he passes me the ball, like it, there's no better feeling. Like it feels better than the ball going through the hoop. Like the way that like Will like slaps my ass when I make a shot. Like it just feels great. It's awesome. Winter I am maybe, maybe we'll win our first game. This winter season, we're coming for the chip, y'all.